Today, our verse is Sirach chapter 28, verse 3. Thus a man harbor anger against another and yet seek for healing from the Lord? Anger is an emotion, a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility. The Greek word orge can be described as a vigorous upsurge of one's nature against someone or something, a strong condition of displeasure with another person's behavior. Orge therefore means anger, wrath, or resentment. We all can get angry over things when people behave in a way that is out of place or offend us. We can be angry for the right cause to make a change. Such anger is not targeted at the integrity of the persons to denigrate them or to keep what they have done in mind, but strictly to change the situation and bring the persons to the realization that what they are doing is wrong. The Old Testament speak constantly about the anger of the Lord. This is an anger directed to correct the people of Israel and bring them back to the ways of God. You can read Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 20. God's anger lasts a moment, Psalm 30 verse 5, and his favor all through life because his anger is meant to change the person. This anger does not lead to sin. It comes with goodwill for the other person. When Jesus went to the temple and found that the people had turned it into a market, he was angry with the money changers and those selling in the temple. He turned their tables over and drove them out of the temple, asking them not to turn his father's house into a marketplace. John chapter 2, 14 to 16. Jesus' anger was to sanitize the temple and make it what it should be, a place of worship. Still, one can be angry, driven by annoyance and hostility not to correct the situation or make a meaningful change. Jesus was not like that. Jesus' anger was to bring about a change, to do the right thing. Our verse today speaks about an anger that is bad, not directed at the good. Does a man harbor anger against another and yet seek for healing from the Lord? To harbor, syntereo in Greek, is to keep in mind, preserve in memory, hold or treasure up in one's memory. It means that one may or may not talk about the issue with the other person, but still hold it in mind against the other person. That means harboring bad feelings resulting from the heart or initial anger in mind. Harboring ill feelings can lead to resentment against the other person and the urge for vengeance. And the author of Sirach says, after our verse, vengeance belongs to the Lord. It is not for us. The issue here is harboring things in the heart, keeping the heart in order to use it against the other person. Our verse raises a question. If you harbor anger in your heart, would you expect healing or cure from the Lord? Healing refers to physical health, but it could also mean here the spiritual or psychological health of the person. We cannot be at peace with ourselves when we harbor evil against others because we are angry with them. Such anger will prevent us from genuine openness to God's Spirit who will constantly want us to let go and forgive. We can become psychologically and spiritually sick because of that situation. We cannot get healing without letting go of the heart we carry in our hearts. St. Paul says, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, Ephesians 4, 26. In other words, anger can lead to sin, but there is anger that may not lead to sin. Anger is an emotion we cannot escape, but what do we do with it? That is the question. Lord, Help us to let go of the hearts we carry against other people. We can be angry, but let our anger not lead us to sin. Amen. God bless you. Have a lovely day.